And we know that women makes up 10% of the drivers in the trucking industry. So what barriers do you still see that might prevent that number from growing? I don't really think it's a barrier to entry. I think it's okay. really, for me, I think it's really more women asserting themselves and not really taking any shit. Like, I think it's really connecting with people in a way where they you feel that they're important and they know that you care about what they're doing and how important it is to their livelihood. And that's how I was able to connect to, with the drivers and the ship companies that I have worked with. I wonder if there's a big a bit of a misperception in that for women as well. Most of the women that I have seen who are in the trucking industry, who are long haulers, they're pretty tiny. <laughs> <laughs> they're not, they're not big beefy guys or bodybuilders or anything. So there is there a uh, misunderstanding about the physical aspects. I'm sure there are physical aspects to that job, but is that one of the barriers that you think? Or one of the things think... that might keep them from? No, I don't think that's a barrier to enter at all. I mean, because okay. they have to go around the trucks. So specifically, I think you're referring more to the truck drivers. As okay. far as the women drivers, there's really no difference in you're just driving the truck. It's really more the skill set of what you have. If you yeah. have a great trainer or if you had a great trainer and they've taught you, backing up is a lot what I've heard from the truckers because one of my partners, he used to be a trucker. And so that's really one of the main issues is really backing up. And it doesn't matter if you're a female or a male, because what I've heard is, is that the women drivers are more precise than men are. 